What's up guys? Welcome back to part 3 of my spoiler free Persona 5 walkthrough. Last time we left off we were in the Velvet Room so we're about to see what happens next to our beloved protagonist. Uh, if you've been liking the series and you want to see more, make sure to drop that subscribe. Without further ado, it's showtime. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Are you kidding me? This guy is talking all this stuff. There is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Wait, <laughs> what? You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. All right, so there's been a lot of shit that's been happening to me so far. I was a thief. I got jailed. They serve as war. I got adopted. Ha! Try and struggle as hard now as I gotta, you like. What, what, what the hell is going on? Is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these. Gotta go to rehab now. Occasion. Injected now, me with all those it damn drugs. Is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! <laughs> Alright, that was weird, guys. Um, but I like it. That was a really cool weird. All right, so I guess we're going into Sunday now. <laughs> hey. All right, I guess we're going uh well, with my caretaker to see my school. All right, looks like I'm going to get a chauffeur. I like how stylish everyone is in this game. I mean, like everybody's got swag. Even Gramps has got don't get me got wrong. swag. <laughs> I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. I remember having to wear school uniforms when I was in middle school, and I, I hated so that clear. shit. You will immediately be expelled. But if these you cause these any uniforms problems. look pretty swag. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you, but there were some circumstances. Yo, my principal looks like Mr. Fisk <laughs> from Spider-Man. You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown, but you will behave yourself here. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the right. teacher in charge of your class. Basically, gotta keep. Oh shit! My teacher's. My I'm teacher's Sadayo looking kind of nice over there. Here's your student ID. She can't be much older than me. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations right? will send you straight to the guidance office. 
And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. Oh, damn, she's already regretting. <laughs> it was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. <sighs> so just because I got a criminal record, nobody wants to have anything to do with me anymore. That, uh, that seems very... That seems very, um, common in Asia. Especially, I don't know, I can't speak for, for Japan and Tokyo, but, um, in Korea, you know, it's, it's kind of like that, actually. Hey. You do something wrong and everybody tries to stay away from you, lest they be associated with your fuckery. <laughs> Nobody wants to be associated with that shit. What a troublesome situation. All right, here we go. Is this guy gonna try to try some shit? With a record on me, a male teacher would be better suited for this. That's Why sexist. In the world was someone like that admitted here. Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he just end yeah, up. Yeah, we not get it. I already have school. a bad reputation Still, here. That isn't before I even I be attend the first day. <laughs> well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Oh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. <laughs> so, how was it? The Even my caretaker doesn't want to have anything to do with me. We'll see. Mm. I like how they drive on the opposite side in uh now listen in up. Japan. Don't even think of doing anything stupid. Like the steering wheels on the other side, the cars are all on the other side. Already. I'd be kind of scared, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. You're a good guy, Sojiro. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. Oh, he got paid? All right. A subway has derailed at Shibuya Station, greatly affecting the timetable all across the... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. The inbound train will soon be arriving at platform number one. Please wait behind the door. Yo, are you fucking kidding me? Oh shit, he's about to morph into a fucking shadow. Or demon. Alright, this guy's gone, man. We're experiencing technical difficulties in the lower line. I don't have a visual yet. Oh fuck. That was direct footage from the accident. 
According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. This old guy trying to pick up young chicks. Can't be talking to your employees like that. I guess you know what. You know, I gotta think in the con in the in the in the perspective of of uh, you know Asian culture and society. Actually, drinking is pretty pretty big camaraderie in uh in Asia. So probably wasn't trying to pick her up. Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You oh, but this guy. <laughs> work late after all. This guy's not not down for a com camaraderie. He's trying to get something else. <laughs> Jeez. Well, fine. All right, so, so uh, Sojiro wants to give us something upstairs in the room at what night. What the accident. hell do you want to give me, man? Eighty people were involved. It's a diary. Make sure you write in it. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you. Which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. So he's gonna trust me like that? That's pretty cool. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Where are huh? you going at night? I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? All right, so let's check out this diary. All right, saving. You can save your game by pressing the options button. When you see the button command in the lower left, you can save at any time. All right. Okay. Fair enough. I have an early day tomorrow, so I should rest up. All right, so let's... Let's do it. Okay, so recording the daily activities is basically just saving the game. I thought it was going to be something more involved. Um, okay, yeah, so... I guess we could go on... I was wondering if maybe we should save the next part, but I'll go ahead and... uh go to bed now all right here we go I knew this was gonna happen So I wonder if, um, uh-oh, I know where this is headed. I knew it. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, we're good. 
An eventless night. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it here. It's unfortunate that not a lot has happened so far, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna things are going to pick up later. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this part. And if you liked the video, please drop a like and share it around. I'd really appreciate that. Or even subscribe if you, if you like the content too. So um, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!